Let's have a look at how we can use the function keys during the tone audiometry. The function keys are the six keys underneath the displays that change function depending on which test we are in. When we are in the tone audiometry screen, we have the six keys starting with the first one being the ability to toggle between the dB step size. So 5 dB step size, 1 dB step size or 2 dB step size. The second key is our measure type. So in case we want to change to most comfortable level or in maybe uncomfortable level, we can do that from here. The condition key will be enabled once the free field uh, is activated. When that is the case, we can change between none, aided if you're wearing hearing aids, binaural if you want to test on both ears, and both in case you, it's this patient with it, which is both aided and testing on both ears. Next to that, we have our masking function that shows us our masking table. I will show you a brief example on what the will look like when masking is present. So we enable our masking and store the threshold with masking. And we can then see at the particular frequency at what level that was masked. On the fifth key, we have the manual reverse function. Manual means that you have the sound off all the time and the sound will be present when you press the tone switch. Reverse is the opposite, meaning that the sound is on all the time and that the sound is, will come off when you press the, the tone switch. The last one is our single pulse stimulus. So right now it's not enabled, meaning that every time I press a sound, it will be presented as long as I press the tone switch. If I want to set sound that is on for, for instance, 500 milliseconds, I can then enable it and a single pulse will be present on screen, as you see, and also in the transducer for 500 milliseconds, independent on how long I touch the tone switch. The last one is the pulse stimulus that appears and will be a sound that can be used in certain scenarios where you want the patient to hear it easier. For instance, in the case of a tinnitus patient where they may have a hard time hearing the tone that is present close to their tinnitus. Here we can present a pulsed sound and we can see on the display here that it is a pulse sound being present in it. And that eases the task of listening to the tone for certain patients that we test in the clinic. That is the overall of the six function keys during tone audiometry.